The sign looks like a charity. The name sounds like one. And I called myself the Disabled Veterans of America instead of David's advertising, so I don't get hung up on it, right? Last year, David Kaplan told us he's running a Valley business, not a charity, promising businesses who sign up some money would support vets. But we found it wasn't much money. We're 100 percent legit, so okay. I'm just telling you now. But you're, you're collecting money, though, for vets, and you're not giving much to vets. We, we take, we, we're in the whole $50,000 we just opened. In his first few weeks, Kaplan says he gave $800 to vets, all to Disabled American Veterans, or DAV. But the DAV asked Kaplan to cease and desist using his name, saying it's a sound-alike intended to misdirect the public. Since our story aired, the DAV says they gave back all the money and will take no more. And Kaplan changed his business name to VeteranBizDirectory.com, saying while it wasn't his intent, there could be possible confusion with the other name. In this new year, are you supporting a new charity? How do you know it's legit? First, it should be listed on the IRS tax-exempt organization search. You can even see if it's been removed. Then find out how much money goes to costs and how much goes to the cause. The charity's 990 tax form shows that. I've got a number of places you can find it online. Go to abc15.com slash let Joe know. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you've got a problem, let me know.